Welcome to Starfield Signal, your place for everything Starfield. I'm your host, Luke, and today we're doing another overview from the Starfield Direct. Today we're covering the skills section, and there were a lot of updates from the showcase that they did last June in 2022. So let's just dive right into the new skills section from the Starfield Direct. Okay, the first thing that I'm so excited for of this section, it, it's not even about skills, but it's just the music. The music starting this section off, I absolutely loved. Uh, I, I've reached out to uh, one of our viewers, one of, one of our, our signal crew that um, uh, is really good at music production, and, he, and he's working on uh, possibly kind of recreating this for us to use on the channel, because uh, I have just fallen in love with this music. Listen. Once you've built the perfect character, so good. that's when your journey can really begin. We took what we loved about skills and so perks good. from our previous games, and put them together to create an all new skill system. Each time you level up, you get a skill point, which can be used to okay. unlock or rank up skills. Let's stop right here. Once you uh, defeat this enemy, you get some experience points, 75 experience points, and then it pops up this other uh, number here. And so it's possible you may have like completed a quest and you got this amount plus the amount of experience points from defeating this enemy. It also just may be like a total of experience points that you've received from this level, uh, from level nine, because you just leveled up to level 10, right? Uh, so I don't know, but it's a huge chunk of experience points. So let's keep going. Once you level up, you get a skill point. And I'm just going to pause again right here. We're getting into the skills, I promise. Again, I've mentioned this in another video, but I absolutely love this, uh, this menu design. It's just so clean. Just a clean circle, not a ton of numbers or information on one screen. And of course, you have your uh, five different sub menus that you can choose. There's also looks to be like a secret six menu that is going to be right up here at the very top of the circle. We don't see it here in this menu because we don't have access to it yet. More on this in another video. We'll get back to it, I promise. Um, but anyway, we have see. Um, like map and or yeah map information information about our current planet and surveyed maybe even like geological information here what resources there are available to it we have information about our ship our crew over here we also have quest journal or mission depends on which uh which terminology they end up using and then we have our inventory system down here in the bottom right and we have up here uh, where we're going to be focusing in for this video the skills section and here it's even kind of giving you a little bit of information on this one that we have one skill point available and we're gonna dive into that now Unlock or rank up skill. Uh, we're gonna go back towards kind of after i do a broad overview of of kind of the different skill mechanics that we see we're gonna come back and just kind of note each individual skill that we see, but we're going to do that kind of in the second half of the video. So if I skip over something, don't worry, I'm going to come back to it. Okay, first thing I want to note here um, is that there are different tiers in your skill trees. Okay, so you have one, two, three, four, five different um, different skill trees to choose from: physical, social, combat, science, and tech. And within those, you have one, two, three, four different tiers of those skill trees. And even within each individual skill, there are one, two, three, four ranks uh, that we'll see later. Um, we note, I just want to note right now, that right here, so we only have two different skills right now in the tech skill tree. We don't have any in the second tier. We don't have any in the third tier. It notes right here for this skill, for the robotic skill in the third tier down here, it says we have to spend six more points in tech to unlock the expert tech skills. Um, so these are the starter tier, the advanced tier, the expert tier, and I haven't seen what they're calling this last tier. Could be master, could be legendary, I don't know yet. I don't think we've seen specifically what this is called yet. But 
we know that there's going to be some sort of like soft progression uh, cap or gate on on how we choose our skills. So we can't just get one skill point and automatically go put it into one of the best skills in this skill tree. We have to slowly progress our way and put a couple skills here. Once we unlock advance, we need to put a couple or three or four skills in here and then we'll unlock the capability to be able to start putting skill points in in the expert tier same thing probably with the uh with the master or the legendary whatever that last one's called top tier we'll call it top tier even though it's on the bottom so that's confusing sorry okay the out of the way they're going to go into security here uh to put in their new skill point and again we'll we'll come back and take a look at all of the the specific uh, skills that we see and, and and break those down as much as we know but they go into it and this is going to be the same thing with with any skill they go into the skill they don't have any points into the skill right now they use the skill point that they have and they put it here into rank one watch this they put that in there their skill point goes away because i just spin it and you rank up to or you put in your rank one as you do that, the emblem here changes. You'll see it kind of fills out to, so it's kind of blank right now, kind of just a transparent blue background. And then once you get your rank one, kind of fills in with its purple color or yellow color or green color, whatever skill tree you're in, it's gonna fill in. And you'll see that that's going to update. We'll take a look at that here in just a second as well. Now within each of these skill trees, he's explaining this here, but we'll have individual challenges to rank up. And so we still need to get more skill points, but to unlock these, see this is locked now. So even if we did have an extra skill point, we can't just come and rank up to, to rank two as soon as we earn an, uh, an extra skill point. We do have to complete this challenge first. And they're gonna be different for every skill, for every skill tree. Uh, it'll be unique to that skill, right? So for security, it's all about kind of, this is this is the, the lock picking in, in the game, right? So for security, they have to you get the perk that you can attempt to hack advanced locks and get two auto attempts bank so that's nice you have to pick five locks or break you know five security measures to be able to level this up to eventually unlock rank two but again you don't automatically achieve your rank two you just unlock it and then once you get another skill point you'll be able to put that into rank two and rank three and rank four. Um, these do not, you do not need more than one skill point to put into each of these higher ranks. I know some games are like that where, you know, if you want to rank up to, for rank one, it just takes one point, but maybe rank two, it takes two points or three points and rank three, it takes five points and rank four, it takes 10 points. It's not like that, just kind of straight. Um, you just need one point for each of these ranks because you've already kind of done the work to, to unlock it with these challenges. Make sense? Okay. And so it plays a little animation here as if you just completed your first challenge and then it takes you back into the skills where again let me go back to the start here we get one little frame here we go and we see that we do have a new skill point at this point they leveled up since the last time we were in here and they put that into rank two so you'll see that skill point goes away right and then rank two levels up and their emblem upgrades as well visually see just like that and now their challenge to rank up from rank two to three is they have to pick 15 locks so the challenges do get harder as you progress but you don't re it doesn't require any more skill points for each successive ranking Again, this is just going to show how that icon upgrades. And here, I want to note how uh, kind of the cadence of, of leveling and ranking up these specific skills. It seems that each, one, each rank, one through three, essentially just kind of 
levels, I keep using leveling up and ranking up kind of interchangeably. Sorry if that's confusing, but, but it increases the same stat or the same perk or the same feature. It increases kind of the same thing. It's consistent. And so for, for example, rank one for intimidation, you can force a target NPC at or below your level to flee for a limited time. It's a limited time. That's a key thing here. Limited time, limited time, limited time. We'll come back to that. And so again, so this is rank one at or below your level for rank one. For rank two, up to 10 levels higher than you. For rank three, up to 20 levels higher than you, which is really awesome if you're considering, like if you get into a situation where you're kind of challenging yourself and you come into a, a room full of characters, full of enemies that are 20 levels higher than you, if you can force one of them to flee, for even a few seconds, that's definitely gonna help you out. But notice, rank four, it doesn't even bother with, okay, up to 30 levels higher than you, right? It kinda goes a different direction. And I've seen the same cadence or the same rhythm in all of the other skills as well. So for rank four, instead of raising the levels, it says intimidated targets now flee for a substantial amount of time, as opposed to a limited time as ranks one through three. Um, again, it's um, it's not clear what this amount of time is. It's possible that it could be different. And maybe these are, like it gives you a window and there's some RNG things going on there. Uh, we don't know, but I did want to note that kind of um, cadence and that that rhythm there with, with the different rankings. If we go back and look at the security, we can see the same thing, right? So here we get, uh, we can hack advanced locks, get two auto attempts, hack expert locks, three auto attempts can be banked. Um, and we also get some other perks here. Rings, rings now turn blue when the pick can be slotted. So that's probably just kind of clarifying, making it take less time for you. Um, you can now hack master level locks and four auto attempts can be banked. Again, you see, you see the rhythm here kind of leveling up these these specific perks and features. But the fourth one, it says, expand a digipick to eliminate keys that aren't required to solve the puzzle. Five auto attempts can be banked. So it gives you the auto attempts, but this is kind of, again, this goes in a different direction. Expand the digipick to eliminate keys that aren't required. So it levels you up kind of in a different way. Okay, so those are the main points I wanted to make as far as kind of an overview and understanding how the leveling up system works, how the skill system works and the ranking and everything. Let's go back and take a look at all of the individual skills that we see and just make a quick note of what they tell us. We don't get a lot of information about many of them, but we do have a little bit. Okay, so we'll go back. We already took a look at security and intimidation, but let's go back to robotics for just a second. Which can be used to unlock Robotics says in an age where robots and autonomous turrets are employed in combat capacity, the study of robotics can be instrumental in gaining a tactical edge. And we've seen in the in the showcase from last June that this gives you like a 10% increase to damage for, for turrets or, you know, some 5%, 10%, 15%, something like that. Um, so that's what that skill is. And let's rank up skills. We also see payloads here. Any pilot can haul cargo, but it takes special determination and training to maximize cargo space. This is probably like an increased or if an efficiency thing for how much you can have on your ship. Uh, this will be especially helpful if you are engaging in trading, if you are engaging in maybe a little bit of piracy, you can, you can collect more bounty, more loot from other ships as you go about your journeys. Um, either morally or immorally, whatever you choose, no judgment here. And we've already seen security. We've already seen intimidation. Now we see decontamination. And this is this is kind of new information to us that we saw uh, not only here, but also in a few other uh, points in the direct where we see in the bottom left-hand corner where it may say like cough or soreness or something like that that indicates that we there's a little bit of a survivability mode integrated into into this system here in Starfield. So decontamination means that you you recover from five infections 
and this slightly increases the chance to recover from infections naturally. Possibly that means without specific medication or without specific healing packs. Um, and so that's cool. You may just be able to recover from this simply over time or maybe even build up an immunity as well as you as you rank up the skill. Very cool. Let's see. We also see martial arts here in the physical tree. We don't get any kind of information on that though. It swoops by too fast. Go over here. We see instigation. We see just a hint of that. So instigation back here in the social tree. It says when combat is required, it can be advantageous to convince others to do the fighting for you. And here for the unlock, it says you can force a target NPC at or below your level to attack their allies for a limited time. Very cool. Moving forward, we see leadership and your challenge progress for this is to sprint 1000 meters with an active follower. Uh, so that's awesome that it's saying this is your leadership to just outrun them maybe, <laughs> but uh, your companions as a ranking perk, you get companions gain affin affinity 15% faster. I don't know what affinity is. I did a little bit of Googling and a little bit of searching before making this video. I haven't found anything concrete. I would imagine this is either um, some sort of experience system with your companions, meaning maybe you can use affinity to level their skills up in some way, or it could be uh, some sort of efficiency bonus where if you have more affinity with a specific character, let's say uh, Samuel Ko, that he ha his sniping ability ranks up or he if you know if you put him at an outpost for security he's able to secure that outpost a little bit better with more efficiency or it simply could be the term they use for your relationship um the ability for you to build your relationship with with that character and so you're going to be able to get you know 15 percent uh, faster leveling with that with that relationship system whatever that looks like so those are the three different um, options that I could think of. If you know what this is, if you saw it somewhere in the trailer or the, or the direct and, and I missed it, please let me know in the comments. Or if you have your own theory uh, as, as to what this is, let us know as well. Yeah. Let's see and there, right before we go, we see outpost management and we don't get any kind of descriptor as far as to what this is, but I would imagine this has something to do with this allows you to have more outposts on a single planet or a single region, or it allows you to have more outposts just in total number in general. We're not sure kind of how exactly how that system works yet. Um, or it could even uh, increase the amount of crew that you can that you can put into that uh, into that outpost to to increase its efficiencies and, and give you bonuses and things like that. Lots of possibilities. We don't know quite yet. And here we see marksmanship. I want to say that we've seen what this skill does before from last year's showcase. I can't remember off the top of my head and uh, I couldn't be bothered to go back and check. Sorry, uh, but don't worry. I am going to come back into the skill sections uh, in a bit in a different video and kind of really tease out all of the details that we've seen from all the trailers, all the, the teasers, all, all the showcases and all the directs. So we'll eventually get back to that and kind of um, make a compilation of everything that we know about these. So no worries. Next one is rapid reloading. And we see here in the need, or excuse me, we see here in the chaos of combat, the seconds needed to reload your weapon could be the difference between life and death. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry. Um, and it's locked, but it says that you can spend four more perks in combat. Again, we see that soft uh, progression cap or that soft progression gate there that we need at least four more points in, to unlock the expert combat skills. We also see here in just a second, we see sniper certification, which again, I think we've seen before. And we also see targeting, which I think we've seen before. I'm gonna keep moving over here. We get just a quick glance at astrophysics. And that tells us the astrophysics, we need to scan 10 unique planets or moons. And at this current rank, it gives us this perk. You can scan the moons of your current planet. You have a 10% chance to discover a trait when scanning. I thought this was really interesting because I don't think it makes sense that 
it gives us a 10% chance to discover a trait like we've been talking about with character building. I don't think it's that kind of trait. I think it means some sort of trait of the planet or of the moon or of that celestial body. But I don't know what that would be because when we scan a planet where it's going to tell us what's on there, like if there's, you know, the resources there, if there's nickel there, if there's iron there, if there's whatever there. So I'm unsure of what traits is referring to here. Again, if you know, or you've seen it, you've been able to Google search better than I have, please let me know in the comments or even better, even better if you're on Discord, uh, throw that into one of our forums that we're kind of mining out all these little details and just tag me in it uh, at Starfield Signal Me and, uh, and let me know what this is because that's going to be important as well. Thank you. And then we see chemistry and we see the challenge here is to create 10 chems and the current perk is that you can create improved chems and research additional chems at Research Lab. So this looks to be kind of like a, a bump in your research to, to some level. Next we see Outpost Engineering. Again, another Outpost skill, which is interesting. Now this is under Science, so I might assume that this allows you to, um, this allows you to upgrade your Outpost either research or crafting capabilities, or this could mean that this allows you to upgrade how many habitats that you have in your outpost, how big you can make it and how varied you can make it between research, crafting and, and uh, crew members and trading and mining and all these things. Uh, I imagine at the start, you may have to kind of choose which outpost uh, you want to focus in on which thing. And then as you level those up and you level up your skills, you'll be able to do more with each individual outpost. That's just a theory right now, though. We'll we'll see. All right, moving on, we'll take a look at some more skills. We get back into the tech tree over here. Um, this is our we missile weapon system. Doesn't give us any details. Then we see our particle beam weapon system. And gives us just, just a glimpse of that description before it, it moves on. And that says that ship's weapon utilizing particle beam technology are the preferred choice for captains who prefer to damage multiple ship systems at once. And that's really interesting. And then it says for our, our lock thing that we have to spend seven more points in our tech skill tree total to uh, to be able to unlock, unlock that again, that soft progression gate there. Then we land back at robotics, which is where we started. We see just a few more skills here as they talk through, as the different uh, developers here talk through this is nadia an environmental an environment artist excuse me and she talks about xeno sociology which is very cool and uh if we back up here just a little bit we get a short glimpse as to what all of these so they've you know got in here in, in the skill system and they've leveled up or they've ranked up all of these to rank four and we get a good glance at kind of what all of them look like fully ranked up and I, again, I love the artwork. I like that little touch of as you rank these up, you get new artwork that kind of upgrades with your actual skills. I think it's really cool. We see leadership here that we saw before. Uh, I think we saw that this was like outpost management here. Looks different. And this is the Xeno sociology. Is that what they called it? Yeah. Over here is commerce. We've seen that before. And here is scavenging scavenging and they have a raccoon just uh just all all up on something i don't know but that's hilarious but they talked about xeno sociology and this lets you essentially crowd control um alien species or creatures and so as she activates this skill it gives her the option because it's fully ranked up it gives her the option to pacify uh just kind of make it chill for a second flee it runs away Frenzy, this probably means it starts to attack other creatures that may be around or other enemies that may be around, or you can fully control it, which means it's in full control and you can still make it either just chill or, you know, attack other characters or, or run away. This gives you full control over it, which is really nice. Let's see here with our other producer. He is talking about boost packs here. 
and he this so this is the upgraded boost pack icon looks really good um, this is something to do with ship ballistics upgrading your ship ballistics which is really cool um, we see this is the targeting system that we saw in our last video uh, the the ship combat the space combat video and there's lots of other things in here that I'm really curious as to speculate what exactly they do I think we saw that this one was for your particle beams and that it, it allows you to target multiple systems at once which is really cool so this actually may be uh, that your targeting systems may be a prerequisite to this one down here not sure this one's interesting somebody in in our comments or on our discord mentioned they think this skill allows you to use your boost pack in space like on the outside of your ship or or um maybe for some from exterior ship combat or exterior space station combat lets you use your your jetpack to get around that would be so cool that's not confirmed yet though that's just a theory just speculation i'm boost packing everywhere and it shows us here how that ranks up as he as he boost jump 10 times while in combat and so here it doesn't even require you to to actually get your kills while you're in the air just says it wants you to to jump boost jump while in combat that seems like a pretty easy thing to to work on i like maxing out my physical tree so i can get neuro strikes and this guy does his neuro strikes which uh you know we can assume is some sort of melee focused uh, ability melee focused skill and let's come back here See if we can take a look at some of these other physical traits here or some of these other physical skills so we've seen this guy before we've seen i think um some sort of strength um this is concealed i believe kind of like a phantom there with a with a with a pistol uh, with like a silencer on it or a, or a suppressor and i don't know what any of these others are this one may have to do with the the cult of the serpent i forget what it's called but um this one i thought was really interesting this one right here this looks like a phoenix and so this could be some sort of like um you know second life skill that you could have or maybe whenever your uh your health gets down past 10 percent or five percent uh it gives you an instant boost to to your health something like that because it definitely looks like a phoenix and so that carries with it the idea of like rebirth or like rising from the ashes uh kind of a second life type type perk what do you think Pro strikes and just punch my way through combat. this does look awesome i'm definitely going to roll this in one of my characters that one's a lot of fun it does look fun Invest in the skills that suit your and here at the stuff. end, we just get a good look I'm at some other stuff. Some stealth player. Some stealth. So, I'm out there pickpocketing everyone. My favorite part about being stealthy is slowly creeping through Love vents this. like you're in a movie. These are huge air pins. Out and springing on people. Whenever possible, I like to talk my way through situations. This area's off limits. Okay, and lastly, we get a little bit of a look at the persuasion system. And even though we don't see that specific skill um, in, in the skill tree, we do get a look at the system. So from what I understand right now, this is how the system works. Um, you need to achieve one, two, three, four, five, six points of persuasion to, to get this guy to, to do whatever it is you want him to do. You have two turns to do this in, if we're assuming this is the first turn. And so he either already likes you or he's been working on this guy for another two or three turns or something by now. But this is what we're, we're at right now. And so we only need one point. We need one point of persuasion to finish this up. If we were down here and we still needed five points, we might try to use this negotiation skill here and just try to bribe this guy. But for now, the player uses this three option. I'm not sure why he did that as opposed to the one since that would have been, it looks like, because it looks like it would have been 
you would have had a higher percent chance, right? Because you have one here is the green. You have three here is like a yellow or an orange. And then you have red, five, red, six, because these are going to be harder to do. To get six points of persuasion in one turn, um, that looks like it's going to give you a very narrow chance of that happening, depending on your persuasion skill. Fine. I'll issue you an he unlocks it. Card. Complete speech challenges. I'm more of a run and gun player. Let me get a few more. Examples here where they're just kind of upgrading or ranking up their skills with combat. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been so fun making all of these overview videos. And if you're wanting more, don't worry. We are definitely going to drill down even uh, further into some details into all of this stuff. It's kind of been easier to digest all this information just doing these individual overviews on the on each section. But don't worry, we're going to drill down into some specific thoughts that I'm having some specific connections in between these sections that are really interesting. And uh, if you are wondering how, I know we have a lot of new people watching, if you're wondering how to get this t-shirt, there are uh, links in the store tab in our channel and maybe even on this video that you can click and check out our Teespring store. Uh, that's gonna give you access to uh, shirts, watch bands, uh, all kinds of different stuff, coffee cups. We love the coffee cups, just like Todd. Um, and so we'd love for you to check those out, grab yourself some signal merch and thank you to all of the patrons who make all the content on this channel possible. You all are amazing. If you would like to join them or our YouTube channel members, you can head over to patreon.com slash starfield signal, or you can go to youtube.com slash at starfield signal and hit that join button. And that'll give you information about all the different tiers and perks that you can get access to. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, all the things that you do. You all are beautiful. For now, may you find wonder as you journey through the stars.